Hello everybody, my name is Ulrich and welcome to this week's episode of Docker Donnerstag, or Dodo for short. Um, to get the formalities out of the way real quick, if you want to submit your own idea, um, you can reach us on Twitter or leave a comment down below. For this episode, we have a look at Docker and how it's run on a Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So what we do is we use a Raspberry Pi uh, version 3 for this uh, demo and we already installed the Raspin uh, Jesse Lite version uh, on the Raspberry and that's where we will start. Um, I will use a putty session to go onto the uh, Raspberry and everything will start from there. So let's log onto the Raspberry. So next step will be to log into our Raspberry. So what we do is we use the standard user pi and the password raspberry. And once we are logged in, as this is a fresh install of the raspberry, we will uh, make sure that everything is up to date. And we will speed this up in the video. Okay, after we updated the uh, repositories, let's update the entire Raspberry. And once again, we will uh, skip to the, uh, to the end uh, in the video. Okay, after updating our Raspberry, we will reboot and start installing Docker. So after rebooting, we are back at our Raspberry and our next step will be to actually uh, install Docker uh, directly from the Docker website. And with Docker 1.12, the ARM architecture of the Raspberry is directly supported. So what we can do is we can actually just use curl to download the uh, Docker and use it uh, and push it just into the bash. Um, and that will actually install Docker directly on our ARM architecture for Raspberry. So this will take uh, a few minutes. And after that, we will actually um, yeah, stop the video again. So after our installation finished, you can see that we are running the latest version of Docker and that you are running on the ARM architecture. And you can see that the installation process suggests us to use our user Pi and add them to the Docker group. Um, this will allow us to run the Docker command without actually using the sudo command uh, in front of it. Um, for this tutorial, I will just use uh, sudo instead. So our next step is to actually look if our uh, docker daemon is running. So what we will do is we will do sudo docker info. And as you can see, our docker daemon is actually running. So what we'll do now is after we check that the daemon is running, we will see, we will do the classic running of the docker hello world. So sudo docker run hello world. So cannot find the hello world version. So our next step is to actually look if our uh, docker daemon is running. So what we will do is we will do sudo docker info. And as you can see, our docker daemon is actually running. So what we'll do now is after we check that the daemon is running, we will see, we will do the classic running of the docker hello world. So sudo docker run hello world. So cannot find the hello world version and download the hello world uh, image. You can see the container didn't start. Uh, we get an error and this is due to the incompatibility between the two architectures. Uh, we're currently running on the ARM architecture and the container hello world was designed for the Intel x86 architecture. And you cannot start uh, the containers vice versa. 
So what we need to do now is we need to find a Docker container image that can actually be run on the ARM architecture. So how do we find actually Docker images that can be used? Um, one way of doing is we go to the Docker Hub and on the Docker Hub, you actually uh, search for ARM and what you see is you can see, for example, um, let's see, have a look at here. And what you see is um, these uh, images are actually designed for the ARM architecture so that they can be run on the Raspberry Pi. Another way for searching for the uh, images is to search for RPI for uh, Raspberry and you see a lot of images that are actually designed to run on the Raspberry um, directly. Um, that's one way of using actually images from the Docker Hub for your Raspberry. Another way is to actually use the docker build uh, command and build your own uh, images for the Raspberry. And this is what we will do in our next step. We will build a Oracle Java uh, image for our Raspberry. So what we will do now is we will build our own Java Docker image for a Raspberry. Um, we start uh, to create a build folder and we create the Docker file and use the nano uh, text editor. And what we will do is we use the base image from our um, Docker uh, Debian uh, provider. We are also using the RPI uh, terminology to indicate that this is an image for the Raspberry ARM architecture. And after we did the from, what we will do is we need to install and update on the base image, install and update uh, and the command. And what we will do is we will use run up get update and up get install. Don't uh, forget to put the dash y here uh, otherwise you need an interactive shell um, to install everything and that's not possible during the build command so you need to leave the y here and after that we can actually provide everything that we need to install we need to install the oracle java version and what we will do is oracle java 8 gdk and after we installed it, we will clear the cache so that our image gets a little bit smaller. So finally, what we need to do is to actually um, put the command in. So in our case, we will just put in um, Java so that the command that you can execute is Java and uh, we've got the our own Java executor. This just meant as a very simple example on how to create um, a Java or any other uh, Docker image for uh, the ARM architecture. So what we will do now is we save it. Docker file and now we start building the file. So what we'll do now is we will uh, use sudo docker build. We will actually tag the build and we will use Oryx, which is my uh, Docker Hub account name. And we will call it RPI Java uh, 8 and um, use the local Docker file. And as you can see is we don't have the uh, Debian base image for the ARM architecture. It will download everything, uh, run the app get update commands, and create the final Docker image. And we will speed up the video uh, till everything is finished. So after building our container, let's see what we did. Zero Docker. Uh, images and there you can see our 
on the Java 8 image. Let's uh, execute our container, do the docker run interactive shell and let's uh, say orix uh, rpi java rate and as you can see it's actually executing java and as we didn't specify anything we get the uh, all options of java displayed so if we execute it again and say java dash version you will see that's uh, the java 8 version of oracle and we can use it directly so that's it for today uh, a short introduction on how to actually create a, a docker image and actually install docker for uh, raspberry pi and we will use this as our base for uh, our next docker uh, donnerstag or docker thursday and we will uh, create a simple java application that we will run with the registry that is built for uh, the Intel architecture as well as the ARM architecture and how you can create this. So uh, one final information, um, if you would like to read more about how to actually build uh, everything around the ARM architecture and Docker, um, have a uh, look at the guys from uh, Docker Pirates. Um, I will link their blog and website uh, in the description down below. And it's a perfect starting point to get everything on um, information around uh, Docker and Raspberry Pi. Thanks a lot and hope to see you next time. Bye!